but now that they got me worried about being relaxed. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> everybody, this is Chris from weartesters.com. On behalf of East Bay, we're here with Jordan McKay. We're going to talk some footwear. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. What is it that you look for in your boot shoes? Um, you know, when I was younger, it, it was just all about like color and something that popped and something that other people weren't wearing. Uh, now as I got older, less about that, more about how it feels and, you know, stability and stuff like that. Um, and you know whether or not I can move, you know, well enough. I know that your your movements are really quick and right. precise. So do you prefer traction, support, maybe a mixture of the two? A, a mixture of the two. Um, you know, I hadn't worn the the LeBrons like ever in my whole life because I've always, when I was younger, I'm thinking like I gotta wear like the lightest shoes ever, like that feel like socks pretty much. Uh, but now that's not as as much of a big deal for me as like support and stuff like that. The LeBrons that I'm wearing in, um, in the game and stuff like that, the lows. They give me enough support, um, and enough traction, so I like that a lot. That actually is going to be our next question. So tomorrow's game, you're going to be playing in the LeBron 15 low top. Yep, yep, yep. So was today your first day in them? So uh, yesterday was my first day. Uh, I, I'm not real like crazy about all. I got to break them in first before I use them. I just, I just wear them. So that's what I did, and uh, yeah, I'll be wearing those tomorrow. And so far, I love them. What do you like about them? Um, you know, it, it gives you a good mix. You know, I've. I've always worn different shoes that, like I said, were as light as possible. And um, the, LeBron, the LeBron's may not be the lightest shoe on the market, but at the same time, you know, it, that doesn't influence you as much as uh, maybe you think in your mind. Us players are kind of weird like that. Sometimes we try to wear the lightest shoes. I remember the uh, Adidas, like, I don't know, they're like 9.8 ounces or something, they're crazy lights. I remember those, I'm like, oh, I gotta have those. Lightest shoe out, I need them. But, now it's a little bit different. What is your favorite shoe of all time that you've ever played in? Favorite shoe I've ever played in? Um, I, I like the Curry Force. Um, the Curry Force have been my favorite shoe just because I was introduced to Under Armour kind of uh, just last year. Um, and the Curry Four, when we got those um, originally at the SC30 camp, uh, that was something that I, I fell in love with those right away. With high school, were you able to choose your own shoe? Yeah, yep, yeah, we got to choose our own shoe. I, I played in the uh, state championship I had my uh, white and gold the uh, curry fours on not sure the exact name but the uh, majority white with the gold accents um, wore those state championship worked out well so uh, I heard that yeah you yeah, yeah, yeah thank you thank you there you go we got a couple of Instagram user questions so okay we're pop off with those do you prefer high tops or low tops uh, low tops but I wear ankle braces now because I've had my my fair share of run-ins with you know ankle sprains and all that and uh, you know my trainers have gotten on me about wearing braces, so I'm still a low top fan. Just throw the ankle braces on. What is the worst or most uncomfortable shoe you've ever played in? That I've ever played in? Oh, I remember trying to play in foam posits. Those are those. I've tried to play in those. Too. Those are those are not. No, those are not real fun to play in. Now they're great shoes. I love foams, but don't hoop in them. Don't no, hoop. And no. if you can. All the power to you. They're a little bit brick-like. Yeah, you know, for sure. I don't know how Penny did it. Right, yeah, me either, me either. How many pairs of shoes do you go through during the season? Uh, how many pairs of shoes do I go through during the season? Probably somewhere between like the like six to eight range, I would say. Oh, really? oh I, yeah, I go through them real quick because um, as soon as they start wearing down or breaking, a lot of times you'll get the, the outside where the you know midsole rips off and disconnects, so I get that a lot. Cause I do a lot of cutting in my workouts, so I put my. If uh, you know, if shoes had a voice, they'd probably tell you that they didn't want to be my shoes because they go through hell, you know, with the I workouts see that you're and stuff. Very four foot heavy. Yeah, yeah, so no doubt. It's definitely probably have a lot of wear and tear in that section. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What does your current off court rotation look like? Uh, current off court is a lot of Vapor Max um, right now. I just got my first pair of Yeezys, uh, the 350. Yeah, I just got those. I got the blue tint, so. Been rocking those a little bit, and then I'm a big retro guy. So between the the Yeezys, the Air Maxes, uh, or the Vapor Maxes, and um, and my retros, I got the Cement Threes. Uh, you know, I got I got some Elevens. I got the Cool Grays, the Wind Lights, and uh, some other shoes that I rotate through. Last question: Have you ever hooped in any of those retros besides the foam? I, I, I've never hooped in any retro, but I have a, a plan to hoop in my uh, the Navy Blue, the Elevens, the Wind Light. Uh, the yeah, the wind like 82. Um, if I uh, if I get that chance, you know the Navy goes right with the the West Virginia, so I might have to pull those out next year. Y'all be on the lookout for that. Awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. Good luck. Thank with you so much. Take Appreciate care. it.